Alright, now try flapping those wings on your own. Do a flap on your way to the next island. The exact opposite of diving is climbing. Climbing will slow you down and eventually cause you to stall. And trust me, stalling sucks. You can flap while gliding to gain additional speed. So the faster you're going, the higher you can fly. Now try to reach the island up there. All right, time to take the training wheels off for the final lesson. Flying takes stamina. If you run out in midair, you are going to drop like a rock. A stupid, stupid, Stamina-less rock. Last island is right under those lava. Let's get you back to the old tour building. I want to run through all the stuff you can do to hurt Satan. Sure thing. See you soon. Here's the deal. If you want some face time with Satan, you need to get his attention. Now, Satan hates being challenged, so anything you do to undermine his control is good. Fraud, mayhem, shooting demons in the face, anything. You can keep track of Satan's wrath with this handy meter. Get it high enough and you'll be having drinks with Big Red in no time. I've compiled a list of shit to do, so take a look and do whatever sounds fun. Oh, one more thing. We have some potential allies down here. Trust me, you want to impress them. I hope there's not something ridiculous like a hundred of these to find.
guys. Ship, we've been boarded. <laughs> Get these damn things off my ship. Who's next? a bit of treasure in that chest over there. The weapon you find inside may help with our little imp problem. Summon these imps to serve as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowers of the ship. would that be? Wow. Zinyak's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven it was a logistical nightmare. Saint Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency, it created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. I grant ye the ability to summon my crew whenever they're needed.
Dane and I go way back. Well, six years, which I suppose isn't terribly impressive, but for me it's pretty good. I raided a Centerpol office. Found information on where the President is being kept. Evidently, they've been trapped in some sort of soul crystal inside Satan's palace. Breaking in is an impossibility. Their best bet to save them is to continue to try to draw Satan out of his palace. Satan uses these things to arm and send off armies to crush his enemies. If you convert all the control stones, we should be able to use them to get around hell even faster. Predictably, there's a terrifying archdemon protecting the... Come on out so I can get a bullet. Turn. 